This building was designed in 1972 as a men's store. It has had several reincarnations over the years, but mostly retail and mostly apparel. The ceiling was low from the rebuild in the 70s, and we were able to take the ceiling up four to six feet to give it again that 13 to 14 foot heritage feel. These clouds down the middle are armatures that we've designed and created with the team across the country using historic stamps for the tin, using downlighting almost theatrically, and uplighting to give us the depth of the new ceiling height. We've had a real privilege at Relic to be able to get into Walter Hook's private estate with his daughter Jan, and Walter had his Rattlesnake Valley Press Centennial Folio still completely intact. This is Walter's folio that was given to him as a contributing artist. Only 30 of these were printed for public consumption and they were delivered in a custom wood box. Those have been appraised around $30,000 lately. This folio was given to Walter in a paper folio and not presented in a wood box, so we've decided to break the folio up and to present it to the public as individual pieces. We were able to obtain display cabinets that were originally used in buildings on Higgins. We were able to obtain merchandise that had been sourced locally by him over the years. And a lot of these are new to Relic and new to this space. The poster that you see over here depicting a gentleman holding an ace of spades being handed a pistol is a advertisement poster for a film previewed in Berlin in 1916. It was based on a story called The Suicide Club. And this paper was brought back from Europe by Relic sent to Seattle to be restored and backed and framed locally. We have some signed posters from the 60s. The center poster is special. Michael Moore owned a gallery in San Francisco and he elevated all these poster artists and album artists by giving them their own fine art show called The Joint Show. And that is Wes Wilson's contribution.